Hello and welcome. Today I want to peer through my crystal ball into the world of Unreal Engine 5. And this is the problem we have. So for a while now I've been working on um, using a Mixamo character as a third person character. Now there's plenty of solutions out there. And there is a paid plugin which I haven't checked out that people suggested is quite good. Um, but everything else I've seen, it's just not done correctly. And I wasn't willing to do any more tutorials where things were not correct. So I worked very hard and I created this almost perfect A pose. Uh, so now we can, for example, retarget. And the retargeting looks pretty good. There we go. But <laughs> the problem here is that this Mixamo character that you see on the screen as a perfect A pose because I spent a long time with retargeting between various softwares in order to obtain the A pose. I, I it went through iClone, uh, Character Creator at one point, Blender, just to get the A pose. And I thought, great, I've got this A pose and I've got the skeleton which is, <laughs> there you go, you go, you can see the problem already. So I have the skeleton, it's in the perfect A pose. I re-imported it into the engine that way so that this skeleton is in the A pose permanently. But as you just saw there, I imported another Mixamo character to use with this skeleton. So if I open up Erica, where is she? Where is she? There we go. Erica is in the T-Pose. Now, in Unreal Engine 4, this was not a problem. We would modify the pose. We would find our A-Pose. I would import. And there you go. Job done, right? But if I go to the retargeter and I choose our Erica. Where is she? This one. <laughs> As you can see, it's not going to work because... Erica is still in a T-pose and I I have really tried to find a way around this. And obviously when we do this, look, <laughs> it's just not going to work out. And the other solution, of course, is to put Manny into T-pose, but then we're going to keep running into the same problems. And then I took some time out and I decided to, it's been a long while, I've been so busy. Um, outside of the engine, I've been very busy. And so I decided to compile Unreal Engine 5.1 and to see if that had a solution. So let's jump over to Unreal Engine 5.1. Okay, so here we are inside Unreal Engine 5.1. Um, uh, there we go, 5.1. Now, before you ask in the comments section, no, you can't download this. There's there's no way where you can download it. You have to build it from source. You need to be able to use Visual Studio. And it's not something I can talk about in the comments section. I have been asked about it before, but it requires a lot of work. Um, there is instructions out there online. Uh, Epic has it on the Unreal website of about how to compile Unreal Engine 5 from source and that's what you need to do it doesn't always build you'll have to overcome some problems and so on and so on anyway with that out of the way let's move back on to our problem so we have uh, the, uh, forgive me for the mess in here there's not uh, i'm this is not a tutorial so we still got erica and we've got the retarget pose with the skeleton that i showed you before but again this does not carry through to the retargeting process and it is a pain. Um, so what we do have is if we open up uh, my retargeter here, as you can see, they are both in the A pose. Uh-huh. So let me just show you the animation. Okay. As you can see, this retargeter is different in 5.1. This is an evolution. It's not perfect. It is far from perfect. It still needs a, a lot of work, in my opinion, but 
it, it does have some new features. And one of those features, uh, features is the ability to import poses and export poses, etc. And we can choose uh, either source or target up here, see? So this is for Mane. I, I haven't got that to work yet, the posing for, for source. So we'll ignore that for today. And also you can choose preview mesh, etc. So I have my uh, Mixamo IK rig here and I've set up uh, Erica as the target mesh. But you can choose a preview mesh here to quickly switch, uh, say, to Quinn. It's probably going to crash. 5.1 does that a lot, but obviously it's not ready for release yet. So we can't complain about that. Right, so <laughs> there we go. So it, it switches instantly to Quinn which is fantastic let's go back to money for now though because that's what we require right i'm going to show you how i got those into a pose let me just quickly close this again and open it there we go i want to show you how i did this so we can edit pose like we could in the old retargeter and we can reset all and so this is obviously how the mixed mode character comes in now i already have the poses but we can create a pose look here now you can do that what you can do is edit the bones for example do this and then we can we we can stop the edit mode and we can actually now save let me show you that so i'll just move this arm down like this i know it looks terrible bear with me and then we go out of edit mode and we go to hit this create button here we can now export something called a retarget pose asset so we'll call this wonky arm <laughs> not wonky worm wonky <laughs> right like so and now that, that is saved and what we can do now is reset the pose i think we have to go into edit mode and reset no sorry reset all okay and now we can import that pose back in so import retarget pose asset and where's the wonky arm? There we go. So now when we edit, it's back in that pose. So you can export and import poses. That took a long time to get around to that. But this is where it gets amazing for me. Right, so let me just go here and reset all again. Okay, so she's back to the T pose. What we can do is I have already done this in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, dot zero two are we on at a minute yep i created an animation from the a pose so what we can do i'll show you that now in fact before we go any further let's go to animations and here is my a pose okay it's just a one frame animation see that of the near perfect a pose and what we can do is open up the retargeter again here it is and we can go to create an import from animation sequence this dialog pops up and from it I'm going to choose my a pose animation that I just showed you and we'll call this uh, a pose I'll just call it version 2 and it will ask you for a sequence frame so which frame do you want to take the pose from I wanted to take it from 0 in this case but if you have multiple poses in an animation you can just choose the frame here hit import as retarget pose okay and then we may have had a little bit of a crash <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the world of Unreal Engine 5.1. I'll jump back in in a moment. Okay, so back after the crash. What I want to do is reset the pose um, on our target. Reset all. Okay. And then default pose. Right, I'm going to go out of edit mode again. I'm going to import animation from sequence. <laughs> Let's try this again. Mix mode A pose and we will this time just call this blah and import and there you go this is why i wanted to show you now obviously it won't crash hopefully when they release unreal engine 5.1 and this feature will still be in it i hope because this is amazing 
And there you go. You've got your perfect A pose from an animation. And now, obviously, all our animations are working. So, like so. And what I'm going to do now is jump over to a third person project. Right, so here I am inside my animation blueprint. I did a tutorial on this for uh, character creator and metahumans. It's on my channel, so if you don't know quite what this is, go and have a look at that. And I've, I've just set up the retargeter there, basically. Here's our retargeter. In the animation blueprint, I hit compile and save. And then here we are inside the third person blueprint and compile and save that didn't work instantly i had to close uh, this blueprint and then reopen it but here we go look our mixmo character is now our third person character so hopefully if i hit play and like so does the foot ik work pretty close pretty close and there we go what about the physics? Yep. All good. They're a bit full on the physics, but there we go. And there we have it. Again, I don't think Unreal Engine 5.1 is going to be released anytime soon. I've no idea what the timeline is to place these new retargeting tools into Unreal Engine 5, but the future is slightly brighter so hopefully hopefully in the near future a lot of the problems you now face will slowly disappear so that is it this is unreal engine 5.1 and the problem that i cannot solve in unreal engine 5 is solved in this version of the engine and again you the only way to get this is to compile it from source. So you need to know how to do that. Um, it's not something I can just say, oh yeah, click here, drag here, do that. Um, it, it, it's a skill set in itself. But if you are capable of doing that, go, go on, and you've got the space because you can require a lot of hard drive space. Um, go and check this out and pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, I will bring you some more Unreal Engine 5.1 stuff now I've got it compiled. I will keep an eye on things and um, yeah, that's it. There's lots of ums and pauses in this, isn't there? Right, that's it. We are in the middle of a heat wave in the UK. I'm going to go and sit on a beach.